so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for seven tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me So I'm about to film <laughs> Zoe. I'm about to film the Christmas decor haul. Or not haul. Tour. Goodness, I can't talk. And I just wanted to show you guys some real life stuff really quick. So this is how my house looks currently. Zoe, get off of me. Every time I talk to the camera, she's so confused. But this is the house. It is not spotless. I just wanted to prove i got laundry up here i got my mop bucket i gotta put out in the shed i mean i just got cups everywhere <laughs> this is real life i'm gonna clean this up a little bit to make the video very appealing but y'all this is real this is a real life house so i'm gonna get this cleaned up really quick and then we're gonna, gonna do the tour all right so i got the house um cleaned up a little bit well actually it looks pretty spotless but i promise y'all it does not stay like this <laughs> during the day i just cleaned it up for video sake really quick um but whenever you walk in the front door i just have like our little shoe basket because i don't like to wear shoes in the house um but we have our tree set up right here the dogs keep messing the tree skirt up so i gave up on it like about two three days ago but anyway we stuck with a red white and silver look this year i just wanted to keep everything just very like festive and just pretty and christmasy i did i my husband wanted to do a blue tree but blue just reminds me of being sad and i'm just so happy to be in our new house and red just screams happy to me so i wanted to use happy colors <laughs> and by the way i decided to go with a bow on top of the tree instead of a star because it was a lot cheaper to go this route it was only three dollars for that bow instead of like 12 for a star so I did, decided to do that, and I think it looks really pretty. Um, and then all the ornaments are just random from different places. Most of them are from Walmart, like in the um, 97 cent area. But a lot of them we've had for years. We just use every single year. I save the ones that are my favorite, like the owls. One year I did all owls, and then I did like a gold, and I think it was a gold and white theme, and it was so pretty. It was the prettiest tree I've ever had. But now that I have kids, I just want to... You know keep it fun and festive for them so i let them decorate the tree this year well i let them decorate every year <laughs> but this is the first year caden got to help really so anyway i did that um moving on over here this is just a nightstand that used to be in my room it used to be brown i painted it white and since i don't have a fireplace yet i want to get a mantle like fireplace for in here to stay permanently and then do like maybe a lounge chair eventually but for now I'm not going to go spend a ton of money. We just moved in here. I want to make sure that our finances and our budget is in line before I go spend a ton of money on decor. So I decided to use what I have for now. And I pulled this out. Um, I got this paper table runner from Walmart. It was a pack of two for like $3. Um, and it's actually one of the ones that are fully white and then just the sides are plaid. But I just folded it to where it would just show the plaid side. So I thought that was you know pretty cute and this picture is actually a gift bag from Dollar General it came in a pack of two um, and I just cut it out and put it in a frame a Dollar Tree frame so I have a video on that if you want to see it I'll link it down below for you um, and then all these little picks are actually just the 97 cent ones from Walmart and I've had this vase for many years it was my mom's and then now I have it so there's that. This clock I actually got on Black Friday for $15. I love it. It's beautiful and it's huge. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. I kind of have the um, camera zoomed out just a little bit. Let me see if I can. Oh, no, I guess it's right. But anyway, it's really big. Um, but over here, then we just have this little chair. I got this from a um, yard sale for $2. This blanket is one of the two fifty ones ones from Walmart that come in those like little round packs. So. I just draped that over the chair, put this pillow, this says Believe on it, out of the um, lawn and garden section at Walmart. I just thought it looked so pretty. It was only $5. 
and the Christmas lights were Amaya's idea. And there was lights that were kind of draped over the top, but they just kind of fell a little bit. I'll try to fix that. It was kind of like this. She She's the one who did that, so I'll fix that up later. But I thought it was really cute that she wanted to help, and I loved it. So that's how it's going to stay. But that's just this area. And now moving on into the living room. Um, we did decide to put the dog's kennel over here just for now. Um, eventually, the kennel will probably go in our bedroom. It's only for Zoe at nighttime. She cannot be out overnight yet. She's still learning. Huh? Yeah, she's learning. She's a little, she's a mess. Hot mess express. But over here on this um, area, sorry, it's a little messy, but you know, I got kids, so. But we have the stockings, and yes, they're hung up with tape. I plan on getting those like little hooks that are like weighted that you can put on the TV stand. But for now, the tape is doing the job, so it's okay. Um, but uh, then I have um, another DVD in the way. This, what is this called? Garland. I've had that for many years. I got it from Walmart. Um, Zoe, leave me alone for one minute. But anyway, I had to uh, get Zoe to go lay down for a minute. <laughs> but anyway, this Garland I got from Walmart on clearance a couple years ago. It was like literally a dollar. Um, I think everything was like 75% off. And I picked it up and I've used it every year since. And I just take Christmas lights and just kind of just drape them over it. Um, and I just decided to put some red um, ornaments on it just to kind of make it a little bit more festive. This little house I got from a yard sale like about a year ago. I was still living in Georgia when I got it for like a dollar, I believe. And this little sign actually came off of a wreath. I just stuck it up there with these like little metal hooks um, just to make it a little bit more Christmassy. And I just stuck some flowers in there because I didn't have nothing else to put in there. <laughs> Um, once again, this is the paper tablecloth. It was the other one out of the pack of two, and it's very long, so you can tell that it's definitely a tablecloth, but I love it. I think it looks really pretty, and I will be, I'll probably fold it up nicely and use it next year as well, so. But then I just have some pictures of us. I just chose the white ones just to kind of add to the um, red and white, and like I said, I have the stockings hung up right there, and then this is just a basket with a blanket in it. Um, and let me turn this way. I feel like I'm saying and a lot, <laughs> but I don't know what else to say. It's so hard to like, everyone always comments when you say the same thing over and over again, but whenever you're filming, it's hard to come up with new words when you know you're recording yourself. So anyway, this is our couch. Um, we actually got these pillows for free from a guy that my husband works with. Um, this blanket is from Dollar General. It was part of the $5 off that they had going on. So I got it for, I think, $7 for that blanket. So that wasn't bad at all. And it's really fluffy and it has plaid on one side. So I like that. This pillow is from Walmart for 5 bucks as well. And eventually we want to get a new couch. I want to get like a couch that comes like to right here and just kind of wraps around a little bit. Nothing bulky or huge, just a small sectional is what I want to get but for now we're making it work so there's that this rug is from Walmart as well in case you're wondering I forgot to show you this um, wreath is one of the ones I made at the beginning of Christmas I actually took some of this stuff off of it and just decided to keep it simple for this door um, and then the kids have their little Christmas tree over here let me see if I can get the light on this is the kids' Christmas tree. It does light up. I just got to put batteries in the little pack. Um, that little sign's from Dollar Tree. This little mailbox is from Dollar Tree as well. And you lock the door, buddy. You got to unlock it. But yeah, they decided to decorate that, so that was really cute. Um, and then coming into the kitchen area, um, I have this little arrangement that I made all from Walmart. Um, Christmas picks and then the cotton stems are from Walmart as well. I got those during um, Thanksgiving time for $1.98 a pack. So that was really affordable. One of my candles went out just now, so sorry. <laughs> but I got both of those from Walmart for $1.97 each. The candles from Walmart as well. And then in the hutch, I just kind of... My camera just cut me off. But I um, just kind of separated everything that was in the hutch 
just to kind of fill it up, I want to get new stuff for it, but I plan on like going to like Goodwill or getting with my grandma and seeing if she has anything she wants to pass down to me. So yeah, I just kind of filled it up for now. It's not how it's going to stay. I just wanted to kind of spread everything out. So I just put the wine glasses like in a row. I got that joy sign from a yard sale for a dollar. And that is another one of the um, Christmas bags that I put in a frame. Um, and then I just did this random like garland with this tinsel going around it. It's not like the prettiest, cutest thing, but it just kind of spices up this area because it just looks so plain Jane when everything else was decorated so pretty. I wanted to get lights to go over it as well, but this cabinet actually does light up. I just need my husband to get the cord from up there and plug it in because it's right behind that. But I think it would be pretty once it was lit up. Um, but anyway, this snowman was actually on a wreath that I had. Um, I got that from my mother-in-law and I actually took the wreath apart and that's where I got that little let it snow sign it was with that so anyway moving on to the kitchen what? little's in your room oh Zoe's in your room okay I'll come get her in a minute okay um but uh, it's okay I'll come get her Anyway, up here in the kitchen, I just did some garland with some Christmas lights to just decorate this area. I didn't want to do too much in the kitchen. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to shut off this light so you can see. Um, I didn't want to do too much in here. I just wanted to just brighten it up a little bit and make it a little bit more festive. I also put this sign I made from a gift bag as well in a frame and just stuck it on the ledge of the granite. So there's that. And... I did the same thing with this picture. I just stuck it over here to kind of just, you know, bring some Christmas spirit in here. But honestly, I didn't want to decorate my kitchen too much just because, like, I'm really, really in love with my kitchen right now. I have never in my life had a kitchen that was this nice. And it's not a huge by any means, but it's so pretty to me because I just love the color of the granite and the stainless steel, like, all matching appliances. It's just nice. You know, I've worked so hard and I've never in a million years imagined that I would have, first of all, a sink like that, a stove that didn't have the racks on it. You know, like little things like this just mean so much to me. And I know they're just basic things to some people, but this kitchen means a lot to me and this house means a lot to me. I'm just, we're just so blessed and I just cannot, cannot believe that this is our house still, <laughs> but Anyway, y'all please, down below, let me know if you have any suggestions for fingerprints on stainless steel because I did get, let me show you, I got these wipes, but why is my camera so blurry? I don't know why it's so blurry, but anyway, these don't work that great, honestly. They smell really bad and they leave like a really weird like film. It doesn't really clean them that great. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean. So like, see down here where I wiped, you can see the streaks where I wiped. I just, I'm not, I love the stainless steel, don't get me wrong, but I'm just struggling to find um, products to use on them that keep them clean. So y'all let me know if you have any suggestions. But anyway, that is basically it for my Christmas tour. I didn't do a whole lot, but I wanted to do a little bit for this Christmas. This is our first year in our new house. And we are, like I said, so excited. But anyway, that is it. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this Christmas tour and just kind of got like a sneak peek of how I have the house set up so far. Um, it is coming along. We are just so, so excited to be here. I've said it a million times, but I just truly mean that. Um, but thank you so much for all the support recently on my channel. I really appreciate everyone watching and commenting such sweet stuff. It really does mean the world to me. So thanks again. Y'all please let me know down below in the comments which part of the house is your favorite. And I will talk to you guys later. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for